Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Resonance Arcade. It is Friday night, and no, it's Monday morning. <laughs> it's not even Monday morning. It's, it's, it's not. Monday day. It's a Monday evening. And we'll do that again. No, no. I fuck it. I've given up. I've given up caring about how I introduce the show. <laughs> I, I tried with notes in front of me. I've tried. I've tried doing it. I, I've just tried doing a very quick one. I mess it up no matter what I do. So. I'd love to try it, Chris. Come yeah, on. yeah. I'll keep doing the same thing, and I'll keep listening to you guys laugh at me as I as I try and announce <laughs> and try and be slightly professional. Yes. So, everybody and anybody, um, thank you for joining us. We are playing Metal Gear Solid uh, Two tonight. It's our second. Is it our second go? It's our, officially our third go, but yeah, second go. We've actually uh, yeah. going to be going to be recording, and we've just got up to the bit where in the tanker with Snake, where he's. Um, uh, avoiding some soldiers and is going to try and get into uh, take pictures of Metal Gear, and that that should be the end of the mission really. But I think there's a little bit more after that. That's, avoiding uh, some soldiers, Chris. It's yes. not really just the entire game. <laughs> All right, okay. Avoiding yeah, a lot of soldiers that, that you have no chance of winning. <laughs> yeah, it's a room full of Marines being briefed. Yep. Yeah. Well, three rooms of Marines being briefed, and one of them being debriefed by the looks of it. Hey! Oh yes, yes, we just noticed as we looked down as we were just doing some sound checks that one of the guys, that one down there, has got... I wish I had... Zoom. A, no, I wish I had a bandage. I do have Zoom. I'm just trying to... Oh, you're bleeding, aren't you? Yeah. I was, I'm not anymore. Shit. Fortunately, you don't need any more health items unless you start climbing off things and falling off things, which you don't need to do. You don't need any more health items or any combat items for the rest of this. How hard is it to get a picture of that guy? Oh, there we are. Why don't you go down the ladder and get one, mate? Can you zoom in? Hey! Uh, <laughs> so unprofessional. Oh, he's been caught off guard, the man. He's been caught off guard. I'm pretty sure this briefing was scheduled. <laughs> All right, fucking hell! You, like, you sound like one of his mates having a pop at him. I'm sure, pretty sure, mate, we knew about this. What are you doing? Embarrassing yourself? Yeah. He's probably had enough flack already coming out here. Well, I tell you what, it's starting to get warm. So you mentioned that it's warm over where you are, but you know this—you know yeah. what this room's like. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That room is uh, a bit of a sweat box, isn't it? Really. It's a lot better now, but it still still quite, can be quite bad. It's uh, getting great over here. It's getting very windy. Apparently, you're on the arse end of a hurricane called Hurricane yes. Gonzalo. <laughs> no! I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I, just, I, I just wanted to see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just I was want about to, to say something, but... You just wanted to um, cost me 30, uh, one pound. Snake? Uh, I'll, I'll let you count that as a death, so even though I did do it on purpose, I'll let you count it as a death. Yep. <laughs> well, it's a game over, a death game. It's got me up to 32. Can we just stick with 32 now? If you want. Just forever. <laughs> That's going to be a big challenge. Um, now, I'm not sure if you... Can, it's not this room, but there's a room where there's two different screens, and I think you can go to the projector and, uh, like, best, like... Change the order of the screen so that it's easy to, moment, easy to sneak past. But in this one, you just crawl under it. Yet, so do a of I just realised what you did last time. Did you? Just oh shit! As soon as I looked, nope. as soon as I looked at that, Snake. I realised it was going to make a noise. Snake. Snake. Idiot. That's two already, yeah. and, and like we did an hour and a half last time without <laughs> a really single died. death. You, yeah, you know, you died once. Yeah. The last time. You died twice in the first bloody two minutes. Not annoying having to go down these ladders every time either. <clears throat> like I said last time, ladder slides should be. If you've got ladders in your game, make you know, slide down the ladders. There's no excuse. No, no, no. So, with your new fancy analog stick, you can just walk over that. Um, that loud bit of flooring, you can just obviously don't push the analog stick up. Which is a nice touch, you don't have to run all the time. Or just crawl, if you want. Or go up there. Tippy toes. Or you can go under the... Uh, I don't think you can get... Can you get there by going up the ladder? It's going to be a bit annoying actually, if you can't. There's a few I don't. There's a few ways to get through these rooms. Um, That'll do though. I needed some M9 stuff. 
you don't. Well, maybe you do. But if you go down, I believe at the bottom of this ladder there should be like a square um, panel on the floor that I think you can open and crawl under this area. That one there. Oh, it's, not, it's not the same button as every other. No, it's, it's, you can't open this one. It's in one of the other rooms, maybe that you can do it. So you just have to go past that guy. Maybe yeah, just tranquilize him. Or not. <laughs> stealth! Yeah. Super stealth man. There is something, like, quite nice about the feeling of just sneaking past a room in full of marines. It's, it, when you first play it, even though it's not a difficult stealth section, it, that, just seeing that many guys in one room makes you go, Ugh. You know that? And yeah. then to sneak past them feels quite satisfying, even though it's actually quite simple. It gets more difficult as you approach, like this. If I all see you, would be going mental that now. I'd want to be taking out everyone in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you can tranquilize quite a few of them, but you've only got so many tranquilizer rounds. Yeah, uh, so they're going to start shifting sides. Now, I believe you can go to the projector and make it change to the side that you want it to be at so that you can sneak past. Can you do the um, project thing where you, you, you mess around with the images that you were talking about earlier? You, you, I'm sure you can. I, I meant to look it up as we were getting set up before, but I, um, I didn't find the proper information on it. I'm not sure if it's just a case if you keep pressing the buttons and it keeps changing them. There was no prompts or anything, so I don't know what how to do that. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease, rest a little bit. Oh, they're going to start uh, moving around. Because he said at ease. I oh, know, so I heard sure that. Be, yeah. So what? What? Um. Oh no, you're okay. Just keep going. There's a bit as well where um, oh, he'll oh, be like, oh, shit, let's do shit. a little." Oh, there you go. They're at ease now. Just. That he's just looking around at each other like that. Huh? Huh? Like huh? Fucking huh? cats. <laughs> there's, a bit, a... Um, there's a bit as well where he'll be like, "Let's do a little test." Intruder in the back, and then they'll all turn around. Intruder in the left. Which is really she <laughs> throws you off guard. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm sure I'm right in their their eye shot now. You behind? Yeah, I am. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh dear. They're looking at the screen. They're not looking at you. You're on the floor. You know. They're, they're looking up, aren't they? So I they don't have peripheral vision at all. Nope. They're trained to just not have <coughs> visual vision, they just look straight ahead at their target. Oh dear. Who's the guy speaking? It sounds like the president from, um, Dennis Hayes, but from, uh... It sounds like the DARPA chief a little bit. He is, uh, the marine commander on this vessel, um... I forget his surname, but it'll become apparent in a little bit. So here's the new Metal Gear design. Oh well, but it eventually shows. Nice! Thank you. Did you have flashbacks about fighting against one mm, before? Sexy. <laughs> Good. Well, it's, it's a very <laughs> different uh, design, Metal Gear. It's a lot more insectoid looking, this one. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me a little bit of a, of a sort of mantis, a brave mantis, a little bit. I'm not keen on Ray, I'll be honest with you. I like Rex, and I, I like I quite like the um, the geckos from Four. Yeah, well, well, the geckos have that same head shape as Rex, which is a bit more. I'm not I'm not sure if that's objective or if it's just a case of like Rex is the first one that I saw, so that's the one I'm attached to. But I feel the same way. I think Rex is a bit bigger than Ray, is it? I don't know. Oh, they're about the same size. I guess. <laughs> How did he not notice that you were feeling his ass? He's asleep, isn't he? Is he? I can't tell. Yeah, he is, because you can't see his thing. Oh. So. Oh. Shit. That's not on. I should have I should have chinned him. Should have tranquilized him. Yeah. Snake, yeah. Snake? I'm, I'm not counting these as, as um, actual oh, yeah. mental mental deaths. They're not. I'm not dying here. I'm counting them as deaths. I won't be able to afford my dinner today now. Oh, fucking who are you? <laughs> a game over and a death is synonymous, really. You get yeah. a game over screen, same thing. 
So that also counts if you let Emma die at any point during the game. That will count. Fuck as death, Emma. Fucking hate her. She is a bit rubbish. Can I not shoot her with a Metal Gear? You can tranquilize her and drag her around so you don't have to worry about her as much, which is what I do when I play this game. I'm going to have to do that because she drives She doesn't like you for it. She will like have a go at you, but it's like... Oh, fuck poor, up, mate, poor fucking her. Poor carrot... Animate, animated character. <laughs> carrot. Oh, carrot. <laughs> poor carrot, Chris. <laughs> Where am I going? Um, right, you might want to check with Otacon just to ask him what pictures you need to take. Because I'm pretty sure you need to take one from the side, one from the front, and one of the, the Marines logo, which is on the right hand side. So maybe just ask Otacon, he'll tell you what you need. Right. Oh, they're doing leg head stretches. Um, right, Otacon. Come on, Otty. Okay, we're finally there. So, this is the new Metal Gear. <laughs> yep. And we're just, about that. Get old. It's baby it doesn't get the, old. It doesn't get old. It's going to be really <laughs> funny later on on the really dramatic codec calls as well when everyone's crying and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, no! <laughs> when Ryden's, when Ryden's talking about his tortured past and you just be like, <laughs> <laughs> What did he say then? He said, uh, front right, front left, and then uh, the Marines logo. Sweet, so if you head uh, to the south end of this room a little bit. Good. Oh, that's good, you got a good one, that's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, on the other side, taking on from the other side, yeah. So you got to do one directly from the front as well, I think. Uh, well, you get the Marines logos on the right hand side anyway, so it kind of does cover two in one go. Oh, Chris, this is dangerous. This is going to be, this is going to go badly, isn't it? Oh my god! Freeze! That is our mission. You will bear that in mind. What are you doing? I don't know. I, I can't get down, though. There we go. Oh, fuck off! <sighs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> I tranquilized him! He woke up! Oh, cameraman, you fuck hard. Oh yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> you did not need to, You did not need to do I know I didn't. Do that. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm having fun. I'm playing a computer game. No! You have to do the right thing. Alright, so where's this marine logo Sam gets then? It. <laughs> Actually, I mean, that is one of the things about Metal Gear. That it is a game, like, again, where you can just fanny around with it and have fun with it. There's a lot of silly things to have fun with. I will yeah. give you that. Where is the marine logo? Um, you need to get past that sleeping guy, so go right up to the right hand side of it, like to the back of this room as far as you can go. Freeze. <gasps> Trank his ass. If you head past him and then look to your left, uh, I believe you can see the Marines logo then. Aha. You got it. You're a beautiful you man, go. Sam. Good. <clears throat> Yeah. Thank you. Means that there was a calculated intent so, <clears throat> yeah, just, just get you the two, and then job's a good Can you silently kill people when they're tranked on the floor? Yes, you can later on, but you don't have the weapons in this section to do it. Like, you can't, you don't have a knife ready to stab them. Later on, when you've got a silenced pistol, you can tranquilize them, then just shoot them in the head. Right. If you want. Which is quite brutal. What but happens you if you can... tranquilize someone who's already tranquilized? Nothing. Does it extend the, the length of time? Um, it resets yeah, it, I think. If, if you, yeah, it resets it to the standard amount. So you right. can't extend it exponentially, but you can reset it. Did you get all the pictures there? Yep. You didn't get one on the left. You... I thought you got a game oh, over. I, you... I did, but on this game it saves it. I'm pretty sure that I've got all of the... Uh, I've got all of the I, think, I think I had the previous one I'd taken. Alright, we'll find out in a second, won't we? Uh, we will. This is a brilliant console. <coughs> That's probably one of the best consoles I've seen in the game. Oh, we haven't finished yet. Oh, uh, it was good. That was crap. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell! So, any codec <laughs> moments for fuck's you, sake? Snake? Hey! The first one I'm seeing is... Oh. 
Huh. That needs to be a little more clear. What we need is top-notch quality here. <laughs> Mate, that is quality. What are you on about? The next one. Oh, okay, fair enough. You're a pretty good photographer. Nope. <laughs> oh, he got rid of the... Um... Oh, he's telling me one from the front. Yeah. Alright, never mind. Obviously didn't listen to him properly. It is an undeniable oh, fact that there is a force <laughs> at work in our government and within the military seeking to control national affairs to serve oh. its own interests. That Mother is so Henry dangerous. Bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plans, and guiding this nation back. How is the commander not seeing yet? Good. Yeah, just don't don't think about it too much, man. Like he really should. They all have tunnel vision, don't they? Yeah, well, they've all got basically the blue codes of vision. That's all they've got. That is something that changes from Metal Gear Solid 3 onwards. They're much more realistic. Like they might not. Um, recognize you straight away, but they'll spot you and be like, uh, and come to investigate. Whereas in this, if you're out of that corner of vision, they you don't can't see you at all, right? That's what I'm saying. I like, uh, I quite like the um, the AI in uh, Far Cry because it, it basically it has that kind of alert state. But Far Cry Three yeah. against specifically, uh, it has that alert state, but it kind of they they go back to the normal patrol after a while. It's it's basically the same as Metal Gear, Metal Gear Four, okay. anyway. I'm receiving but it's got. Oh. Sorry, he's really distracting. Uh, it's the same as Metal Gear, but he's they've got that... It doesn't have all the visual and audio cues that Metal Gear does. Yeah, it's a bit more... Well, that's one of the things that I think they're, they're changing for Metal Gear Solid Five is the way that you detection meter works. It looks more like the Far Cry one, with the right. sort of white flare of... Well, you've played Ground Zero, right? So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit different. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's very much like the Far Cry one, in fact. It's a better system, I think. It's more, it's more immersive than having to look at a radar all the time, you know. Oh, big stuff's happening now. Oh, look at him. Slow clap, os a lot. <laughs> Sclap a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called Scott Dolph, that uh, commander. Excellent That's speech, that. my friend. Who the? Why does he wear spurs? I like, I like. I suppose he's a douchebag. <laughs> it really is such a bell end. I like the fact that as soon as Snake gets caught, it's like, and everyone in the game ends, but as soon as this guy shows himself. <coughs> well, he's got cutscene. Uh, ah, okay, right, I like the boss. He has got cutscene powers, you're right. I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. Yeah. <laughs> Flashbacks. Now then. Oh. You don't really have any idea what's going on. This is one of those bits where none of this stuff is about to happen gets explained to right at the end of the game. Will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. The uh, Samsung's gone really out of sync. Yeah, it's got out of sync for me as well. I wonder if it's just a cutscene thing. Possibly. The sound is ahead of the, of the footage from my end. Yeah, a good few seconds as well. Hmm. So I'll just try and reset it. Nobody move. Understood. <laughs> so I take it Ocelot and his cronies and Nick in Metal Gear. Yes. This ship now carries enough yes, but as you said, he's taking it back to blow it out of the water so, at the touch of this button. He is, yeah, but it's there's all sort of intrigue as to who Metal Gear belongs That's to. Right. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. No one has to die needlessly. I think the sound's in the sink again, Chris. 
It's a bit closer, yeah. We're almost at the target. Get a move on. <clears throat> Is there even normal mapping in this game? Sorry? Is there even normal mapping in this game? Does it have it doesn't look like there's any normal mapping? Um I What's normal mapping? It's bumps on textures, so basically you have like a flat polygon. And uh, the yeah, flat polygon has got a texture on it, and then there's another texture overlaid on it, which gives it a, like height information essentially, and it tells you how, you know, it makes things look nicer when they haven't actually got loads of polygons taking up loads of memory. And, you know, like like you know when you look at um, it makes flat things look textured basically, but within respect to light. Okay. So it's like if you look at someone's skin in a, a recent game, you'll see loads of pores and you'll see the look quite textured, the look quite bumpy. That's bump mapping. No, I'm not. Bump, normal mapping, the same bloody thing, pretty much. So, here we go. So, what? What's what? Ocelot, they're not, they're not the same. What's the difference then, Lou? A bump mapping doesn't have any directional information, just height. Normal mapping's got the uh, directions. Yes. Okay, and that. Returned. Uh, they're the same. Uh, but bump mapping must have one direction. It doesn't. It just just height. How's that possible? Yeah, one direction. Height. Yeah, but normal mapping tells you the angle of things as well. It's more accurate. Okay. Are you still in league with Solidus? Anyway. So yeah, Ocelot is now turned. Not only turned on the Marines, but he's now turned on Kalukovic as well. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, he just said, uh, yeah, um, no, hang on. He, was, he wasn't Russian in the first one, I'm sure of it, he was American, wasn't he? No, he says, he says that he is actually Russian in the first one, but he's got is an American he? accent. He's, he's, a, he's a quadruple set supple agent, he's like, he's everywhere and nowhere. Now, in his original backstory, in Battle Game Story 3, when he appears as a younger man, he is with the Russian military in that, but he's also not, because he's also not. Um, I could spoil it for you where he no. really is from. No, don't don't spoil any of it. Just just talk about what's gone on in the game. Yeah, we're getting ahead of ourselves. With, that'll be a sort of feast of anyway. So I guess the revolver is actually an allusion to the fact that he keeps changing sides then as well, I guess. Um, Ooh, clever. Uh, no. No, it isn't, <laughs> no? but... Yeah. There's some. It, it, it's, it's revealed, isn't it? The, the the arm thing in this one, Lou Sam. It, it's revealed. Well, it's about yeah. to happen in a second. Actually, the Here arm we go. thing is a, is a plot point. It doesn't have a resolution until Metal Gear Solid. But like in this one, yeah, you just kind of like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, this is this is thing? this is utterly atrocious. When as far as plot goes, this whole section. It it, it takes a game that was already stretched. Uh, you tend to disbelief and to for breaking point with this stuff with Ocelot's arm, which is going to happen. I'm sure it's about to happen in like the next minute or so. Because we haven't had an announcement yet of who he is, have we? Got a weird forehead. He hasn't said Revolver Ocelot on the screen like it does when it introduces people. No, but but I think Snake said Ocelot when he. Yeah, but it hasn't done that, has it? Yeah. Oh right, um, I don't I recall actually. Now. Chris, you've this inadvertently just spoiled it now. I haven't. I haven't spoiled anything. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, but you've already established now that uh -oh. it is Ocelot. Oh, have I? This is that. This is what we're talking about. It, it's completely stupid. I'll be honest with you. What happens right now? But I love it. Yeah. I love it in my I own little. I mean, uh, even the explanation in Metal Gear Solid Four is kind of him trying to rationalise it a bit. It's still <laughs> a bit that. Get, get away from the boat exploding. <laughs> He's invincible as well. On all of those marines, which have been trained in shooting people, can't shoot that, him. That also has an explanation. All <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. There's a lot I've forgotten. To be fair. Yeah, man. There's so much shit. Like, this game really takes it to the next level in so many ways. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What? Anyone seen idle hands? <laughs> That's where his hand came it's from. Been a while, 
I stole his voice. I forgot he has his name. Who I am. This is where we get the introduction. Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? Shut up, Liquid. Ha 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 ha! I know what it's like, brother. What? What? Did Taco kisses? Did he rip that sleeve off, or did it just like? I don't know. Burst through. Ouch. Ouch. Is he biting his own arm? Brilliant. It is. Well, it's not his, is it? Really? Well, it is, but it isn't. What? It how? Is. Do we? Do they explain how it happened? In this is it game. How he got the transplant, or how he's getting well, is it a transplant, or yeah? That is a simple quality. transplant. But they sort of hinted that Liquid's soul is in that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know that. But they do explain it, and it's not quite as daft. But it's not explained for another two games yet. I was gonna say they obviously the, the game the Phantom Pain has something to do with this, then, doesn't it? Um, not Since necessarily. Idea, well, Phantom Pain is about people getting uh, amputated limbs. Yes, Phantom Pain actually alludes to um, the fact that it's the yeah it's the pain of a limb that's been lost. So in Metal Gear Solid Five, stuff happens to Big Boss, uh, and he does actually lose a limb, I think, in in it, or he's already lost a limb by the time the game starts. But it's also about the soldiers that he ends up losing as well, and the Phantom Pain of that. So I think it's a bit. I'll be honest, I haven't I've... read anything about the Phantom Pain, so I, I've and I've tried. I try not to form any kind of conclusions or. Assumptions yeah. to games that I really want to, to play, you know. Yeah, the, the titles and stuff in Metal Gear Solid games are usually relevant. Like this one's called uh, the Sons of Liberty. This, Metal Gear Solid Two, the Sons of Liberty. I guarantee I, I will absolutely not be playing um, Phantom Pain with you. You know, with you guys. Nah. <laughs> you really I, I really, I really just want to sit yourself. and play it and absorb it all and try and remember what happened in the other ones because I'm not really paying that much attention to these this time through no. which I did kind of want to but yeah, oh, end of the day. I, uh, I agree mate I would not recommend playing these with us talking over it, it I wouldn't want to do it that way either like you want to just sit and absorb it oh now this is quite an interesting attack thing that Ray does as well it soaks up the water and uses it like a cannon well, it does it in a second, anyway. And so you, mate. Well, is he? Get up, snake! It's a nice crotch, that, innit? That's a really nice crotch. Yep. Share out the head. <clears throat> Look at the machine See? at it. See? Like, if these Marines designed this thing, they must know that small arms fire will not do anything to it. Or medium arms fire. <laughs> medium, yeah. Like, it's a metal gear, man. I don't think even grenades are going to really do any damage against it. You're dead. Ooh. What are the um, what are the big things called in um, Pacific Rim? Catchers or something? Uh, kaiju. Kaiju, kaiju, that's it. And the, the robots are called Jaegers. And I know that Jaegers, there we go. Jaegers, the German for hunter. hunter. And kaiju is, I think, the Japanese word for monster. Or it's yeah. a it's genre of film. Like Godzilla is a kaiju film, yeah. isn't yeah. it? That kind of stuff. Yeah, Metal Gear is a little bit like a Jaeger, I guess. It is. It's a yeah, massive. It's like an early top you pilot. Oh, that just reminded me of something that happens in the game with him plunging in the water. I know you just said he sucks it up and that, but I forgot that water was involved in general. Yeah. yeah. The Metal Gear, this this Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. So it's, it is more advanced than Rex in that regard as well. So is that like a water laser, or just like a, a, yeah, like a yeah. water saw or something? It's like an incredibly high-powered water jet that can get through steel. <laughs> and hopefully it screams. Yeah. How, how would you hide one of these, though, when you've nicked it? Snake. In a tanker? Underwater. Snake! <laughs> That's not we a get death. That I was going to say, if we get that line reading again out of con, bit. And why was he echoing? 
Yeah, it was just in his ear. Yeah. yeah, this battle gear can slip. And fly. Uh, well, uh, Guys, so go on then, Sam. Summarise what just happened for everybody who wasn't listening like me. <laughs> well, also, uh, like, basically, it was a knobhead to everybody. Jumped in battle gear, but, but after Liquid took over his mind through his arm first, said some stuff to Snake about being brothers and that, <laughs> and then this jumped out of the water, then he's about to dive away. That's it. No Proceeding as planned, sir. Oh, he's back to boss now. And Aslot's talking to somebody. Who's he talking to? Mm. Yeah. His arm. Mm. That must make knocking one out really weird. Say again. <laughs> so that must make knocking one out very oh, weird. Oh, knocking one out. I thought you said knocking <laughs> someone out. I was like, what's that got to do with it? He's right. Let's have it. I think we think. I think you're thinking about that a bit too much. I am. Yes. At the location. There are certain yep. things I will allow yes. when it comes to. Uh... I have photographic <laughs> evidence of snake on the sea. <laughs> the site was most useful. Is this the end of the tanker chapter then? Yeah, man. They've got to basically cut to the one chapter and then it's cut scene. So here comes the bait and switch that where all the fans kick the shit out of Kojima for. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind it. I never really minded it. I was like, oh, he's a bit floppy, a bit of a floppy head wanker. But the thing is, uh, Ryder is, and we'll get to it more later as we progress through the game. But I actually don't have anything to dislike about his character. I mean, he's a different guy to Snake, fine, but he's still an interesting character with a really dark and like interesting history to him as well. It's just because he wasn't Snake. I think that's all it was. Yeah, just, yeah what that, that is all it was. Wasn't. And everyone just thought he, said that he was awful and all this kind of stuff. He really isn't. Well, you know what gamers are like, though? We've talked about this before. Gamers are just unsatisfied unless things yeah. are exactly as they expect them to be. Which is, I always think, is really stupid. It's like, if everything's as you expect it to be, then it's just boring. Mm -hmm. I want things to be not what I expect and to be surprising. And you different. know what? Every single, what I would say, a like proper, serious gamer Snake, who I talk to about these kind of things, though, they kind of say, no, I'm happy about it, actually. It's like talking yeah, it's to um, uh, someone who's a metal fan and listen, who listens to, like, a proper metal, like, someone who likes music yes, and saying yes. that the, the St. Anger, uh, the Metallica album, it's got its moments, you know? It's not a totally terrible album. It's In fact, it's quite good all the way through. It's just that it's, the sound quality is nowhere near what it was uh, in previous ones, but there was a good reason for that. And plus, there's a brilliant uh, comedy film that goes along with it. Oh, amazing! Some comedy. kind of monster, the documentary, which is uh, so funny. It's actually it's, almost as funny as Final Tap, but it's, it's actually real. It's That's real. Yeah, it's it's, it's not funny at all. Have you seen it, Lou? Have you? Are you into that? Are you into Metallica at all? No, I hate Metallica. Okay. Well, well, the they did this. You, uh, you can definitely watch it because it makes it look like massive tits. <laughs> yeah, all of them are massive tits, basically. And it's, it's amazing. Yeah. I love them. I love. I love also, Metallica. But also I... is a comedy legend. <laughs> oh, um, anyway, who's this? Eh? You might notice that uh, the Colonel's voice is back. By the way, did you notice that? That's the guy talking. Then we've talked over it. It'll become clear. So that this is the big shell. Now then, they're going to tell us all this, but we're going to talk over it. So that tanker that that um, that just sank. They claimed it was an oil tanker and released loads of. You know, toxic oil into the ocean. The big shell was set up as a cleanup facility. Now we know that it wasn't an oil tanker. It was housing a Metal Gear Ray. There was no oil on that tanker. So the big shell facility, from the outset, is clearly hiding something. Tour going on at the big shell that day. Hostages, huh? Yeah, hostages. Ryden taking cues from Snake there, asking questions about what some what's just been said. James Jones. He's also putting on a bit of a husky voice to start off with, so you're kind of not sure if this is Snake at this point. crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. An inferno? worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bollocks will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries. By the way, if you're not going to watch the end of this with us, this isn't, yeah, none of this means anything. It's not. 
I, we, we, we already know that, that there was no oil on that tanker. There was a Metal Gear on that tanker. There's no oil spill. I'm just thinking here, I've seen footage from this game, I'm pretty sure, and I remember this tanker, the, all the orange, uh, the big orange tanker, the yeah. orange rig. That's what I was wondering I mean, where I'd seen that. Dear, oh dear. It's the same, uh, it's part of, you know, gaming. I don't know, the subconscious, it's the same as everyone knows like what Final Fantasy VII looks like or knows what Ocarina of Time looks like. Or even if you've not seen Mario, yeah, you see, you know what that looks like. Yeah, you is, know it. Is Metal Gear Solid 3 set in, in this place? No, it's in a jungle. No. Jungle, right? I, this is the one I've seen then. In fact, this is this is where the new plane, Chris. At some point, this is where the main game starts, basically, in this this section. The whole precursor bit. You don't have to play it as part of the the main game. I like the fact that he's got the same code name as well to start off with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all important to the plot as well. So there's the Colonel back again. Yeah, he looks a lot more like Richard Crenna this time around, don't you think? Is in the guy from uh, Rambo? Any problems? Yeah. Yeah. He really does look a lot more like him. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about well, it is, because there it was. They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some mm, kind of... Right. I've completed four in VR. <laughs> okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select Why is he button. telling me all this shit? I've already... Oh, you. of course, this is... Contact you don't have to play the tanker, do you? The of course. No, and also, when you hear that <coughs> if you remember, this, I think these the are, this is the exact same verbatim bit that he says to you about the codec the in the first Metal Gear Solid, and that is important. No one but you the way that the Colonel says things... And yeah, 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 no, I, I agree. Um, I, I'm constantly thinking about that, in fact, but I can't say anything at the moment. We've got, like, six hours until I can say something, in fact. There's I've got a feeling we already discussed the end of this area. game in another podcast, but... Use that. Yeah. yeah. So we've shown it, in not. fact. We've shown it in another podcast, but yeah. let's not. Just in case someone's just watching the Metal Gear run yeah. Yeah. I don't remember that, so... Although, to be fair, if you watch this, is the, to really get a good handle on the plot, then it's the probably not the best wide range to watch us talking over it. The suit itself anyway, here's the new sneaking suit. Sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military r and I remember all through this bit I was going, is that Ocelot? <coughs> it must be Ocelot, he's the only one with long hair. In the <laughs> <laughs> intravenous nano machines to create a feedback system. Could be on a con. Relax, the suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. Uh. Surely this briefing would have come before I put the suit on. Well, yes, it with a circular handle will open You're not to incorrect. the elevator area. It'd been a bit boring though, wouldn't it? <laughs> it was seeing, like, watching him get all the way to... Mind you, they do that in Ground Zeroes. You, basically, the intro of it is you getting to somewhere in a yeah, helicopter yeah. or something like that. I can't and remember then they go, exactly. Now that you're here, here's your mission. It's like, I should already know this. <laughs> now watch this. Watch this shit. <laughs> oh, the insects. Woohoo! That cartwheel is awesome. It is. Man. And you That's can also get go... through quite skinny places as well with it. Well, if you go up those steps... And then you can cartwheel down full flights of stairs. Obviously, you can do it with those steps there, <coughs> which is great. Like it's so quick, you can get down any staircase in one go, pretty much. It's awesome. <laughs> As opposed uh, to Snake, who just falls down them. <laughs> yeah. So in that regard, and in terms of the gameplay, that is one area where riding is actually better to play as than Snake. That is true. You, even the even the most fervent riding haters can't deny that. Oh, you need that, don't you? In like hard mode. Yeah, well, you don't have a, you don't have a. Uh, I don't think uh, I've ever used it though. Radar. In this game, you have to set up the radar at nodes. So if you notice, you don't have a radar now either. You have to log into the system to get one. So we'll do that in a minute. Uh, you can jump into that little pool again and show a quick glimpse of what the swimming is like in this game as well. It does. The the game does feel instantly like it's got more to it I don't know even just this little section 
than the other bit. It's all the it's all the little bits of detail. You can hear the sound of the bat in the background, the lighting, the you know, everything really. Is there any relevance to these? I've forgotten. Um, yes, there is later on with Emma. She works, she's scared of them. I think yeah. that's the least of her worries. Well, she's, she's a dick. I didn't press anything then. I know. Here's how to swim, even though you just swam here. These are the basic yeah. controls for swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Hmm. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. I'm hearing a lot more stuff going on than I have than I did on my first playthrough. How do you mean? With the colonel. His voice, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it doesn't sound natural, it doesn't sound as emotional, does it? It sounds no. quite flat. And you probably wouldn't notice it if you were, if you just started playing it. Like Lou. Sorry, Lou. Well, the guy doing his voice is, a, is a, I think I said before, a voice actor called Paul Eading, who is like a great voice actor. He's done lots of cartoon work and loads of games, and he's. It's not that his performance isn't as good in this game, it's, it, there is a reason why it's not as um, naturalistic as it was in the first. Anyway, I thought at the time, the presentation of this swimming stuff. It's really nice. Really cool, really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's great. It controls all right as well for a swimming mechanic in a game like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's all inverted for me as well, unfortunately. I wonder if I can change that. Uh, I don't know if you can, no, actually. I, can't, no. I didn't notice he said that pushing up makes you go up, which seemed wrong for th that view. Yeah, it should be inverted, shouldn't it? <coughs> I forgot about that. Oh, look, he does two kicks. Yep. <laughs> so he's got a four-hit combo as opposed to a three-hit combo. I'm, I'm just, sure. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything around here, that's all. There's a little mini sub there, some uh, big daddy diving suits. <laughs> no drill arms yet. Could Snake defeat a big daddy in combat? Probably, he could fight a Metal Gear. Yeah, he's fought bigger metal things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, I think I've got everything, I'm enough on this room now. I think you have. So, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this with the sound quality, but I believe when you open this door, there's evidence of the, the person that came in before you. Yeah, there you go, he's, he's punched somebody out. Now, this is all meant to be a little bit reminiscent of the ninja in the other game, who's ahead of you and takes out guards ahead of you and stuff. And that guy's just been knocked out, hasn't he, by somebody else, the other intruder. An enemy sentry, <laughs> AN-94, and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their state? His voice is right. It's like G-Man's voice. must have made a deal. Yes, sometimes it sounds better than than others, which is interesting. It's like they've, they've put all the stresses on the wrong parts of the speech and stuff, like G-Man does. Yeah, it's like he's not a native English speaker. It's uh, yeah. I mean, we, we, we probably shouldn't talk about it too much because it's just yeah. Immense, let's just stop. Let's but... stop talking about it because it doesn't <laughs> really become obvious until right near the end of the game. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll call back to it later. Should yeah. We say. Anyway. Let's go forwards. I only wanted right to point. Place. I only wanted to point it out that I noticed that there's a difference there now. And before, yeah. first time I played it, I didn't. It's so subtle. Yeah, it's good voice acting. There. I might have only played this through once, by the sound, by the feel of it. Oh man, I played this through so many times. <laughs> I do tend to just play games through oh. once, though, unless I'm really, really into. Like I'm playing Far Cry for the second, Far Cry Three for the second time at the moment. And I'm sure I just saw Snake. Well, you may have you done. Did. There's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. <laughs> we may not know who he is. Yes, he managed that's to what solo means. Sentry in the area. <laughs> They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can Love take it advantage the of the situation. Do you think his skills work. could pay the There's bills? There's a terminal in five <laughs> elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? <laughs> Not nerd. Right here, skills. I just think that. You Use the node to gain access to the base facilities network. Then what? 
Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? Oh, oh mate. That radar Stop can it. be useful during VR training. A radar Why did you ask what it was then if you already used it in VR training? Fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the big shell. Oh, I forgot about that. To put this oh, I forgot you could do that. Use. <laughs> you the node unit is about three feet high. Should be colored blue. Each area has at least... So when... One. Snip. When... How do I gain access? Oh, I can only... When someone Just else is talking, you can press buttons to make right and say stuff, like, <laughs> as they're talking. The nano machine you look lost. will take care of the security clearance and allow you access that to the node. That contact says to later on, but will tell you what to hear is like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> if they spot you. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, don't mind. I knew I pressed the wrong button at some point. So you anyway. go to the, the node and get logged in. Now, if you put today's date in for your birthday, it'll be doing a little happy birthday thing as well for you. <laughs> Which and now this is an interesting thing because you log in as yourself as in Chris, not as Ryder. Well you can call yourself Ryder if you want. But you log in as yourself with your own date of birth and your own name. Even though you're playing as a character and that's relevant as well to the story. Right? Um Not a good time. <laughs> if he ever if he ever actually goes and logs into the node, that is Okay now just <laughs> What is wrong with you guys? If I don't do exactly your typical gamers, that's what it is. Yeah, I know. So entitled. You have to play the game the way I want you to play it, otherwise I'm not into it. I was, yeah, why are your Let's Plays that popular, you know? What? <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot of it is because you can kind of experience a game that you've not played and don't have the, have the money to buy. There's also a lot of people that come into Let's Plays, or they come into my stream sometimes, and they, they tell me how <laughs> I should be playing the game, but they... They don't tend to stick around for the full duration. Yeah, yeah. There are some that do, of course, but yeah. That was that was a hell of a login. I hope it's, that doesn't happen to me when I log in at work. It doesn't do that every time, it's just the first time. <laughs> you gotta give yourself a daft name. Just <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff McJeff, of course. <laughs> Jeff McJeff. Jeff McJeff. <laughs> Jeff <F. S. laughs> oh shit, it's stopped me from. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Is no that, shit. Is that the full length? Could add some more consonants in there? <laughs> Jeff McJeff. Jeff, Jeff McJeff is brilliant. Jeff McJefferson. Oh, you can't have Jefferson. That's a real name. What? So's Jeff. <laughs> I know it's not. <laughs> like, um, right. How no do one's I go? called Jeff. Enter. There we go. What is today's date? Uh, uh, the nineteenth of October. Yeah. Oh, is this American? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ninth. September. Can I just say to any to any Americans watching, your way of writing dates is fucking stupid. Uh, that's Day, not American. Month, year. This isn't that's, American. This is no, that's, that's really weird. Either. That's quite, it's quite, it's, uh, it's sortable. Nationality it? UK. You can't pick the year. No, because it'll default to the, this year's this year's year. Oh no, I can't change it. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's your birthday, not your date of birth. All right, fair enough. Because otherwise, I, I guess if you set it to like if the same year, then that means he was born today, which yeah, wouldn't be a very, it wouldn't be a very good agent. And I guess if you set it to really, he's clearly not like he's clearly not <laughs> thirty two or whatever, is he? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, does that mean you're inverted aiming possibly own view? I don't know what any of this means. I would say own view will be your your your. Uh, what do we call it? It'll First be inverted or not? Type. Yeah. Uh, I well, think everything can... else is okay. <laughs> do you want to try using first person view and then log back onto this console if you need to change it? What can we change first person view? Well, that's his own view. That must be first person it view. It says at the bottom first person view. Oh my god. Help... Stuff is happening. Good work, Ryden. 
The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training. I love how you have to log into a computer on site in order to enable your radar. It kind of makes sense though. If, if you're tracking everyone's like transponders or something, yeah, you're you logging into the, the map. Nah, I don't need to hear any of this. I am. Oh, hello, Rose. Oh, shit. Well, there you go. Shouldn't have done that. No, I shouldn't. So, so this is an introduction of Rose. Fuck. <laughs> Pressing triangle and it just went. Okay, so that person was Rose, and she is Raiden's uh, girlfriend, and she is the mailing save character in this game. Right. She, uh... Yeah, and some other stuff the as well, which I can't remember because we just skipped over it. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. So immediately you'll notice that this how similar this bit is to the beginning of the first Metal Gear Solid. In a cargo bay, you just got out of the water, waiting for a lift to come down. Yeah. All this like... Thing. And you came out of the water as well. Yeah, yeah, it's all reminded you of that. It's all very, very similar. Did I just notice that Raiden's name was Jack there as well? Yep. Yes. Hmm, okay. Don't try and come to any conclusions. It's Japanese. <laughs> I think they just didn't know that many, like, yeah, Western sounding names, so they picked Dave and Jack. Oh, fuck off. Way. That is a terrible excuse. No, they've, they've picked the names for reasons. <laughs> fuck it. Oh, couldn't, right. couldn't think of any other other real names. Real <laughs> names. Incredibly racist like of me. Jeff. <laughs> Look at his crotch. I love crotches in this game. They're awesome. He just He's looks got like a distinctive bulge. bulge, doesn't he? Yeah. He's got a Batman bulge. That's a very <laughs> tight suit, actually. You can see his ribs in it. It's more like, like a wet suit. It's a skeleton suit. Yeah. They kind of were talking about it, how it's uh, it's it's deliberately like that. Well, he's much more agile as well, right, than as a character, so it's more of a thingy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Shit. What's he doing? Rubbing his head. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I don't remember that. I remember, now some of, some of the stuff in this maybe because of HD malarkeyisms. No, I just I just don't remember that animation. No, I don't think any of those changed the animations for this game. Oh, there you go. That's what I was waiting to get. You see. Ah. I think your lift might be there. Is it there yet? I don't know where is the lift. At the top the end, top? at the north end of this room. Oh, Chris. I don't think that one. Oh, hmm. nice. Nice. <laughs> that was still, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I just want I just wanted to see how many hits it actually took to take them down because it took three with Snake, but it is actually the whole four. It needs to hit them. <clears throat> Here you go. More reminiscence. Yeah. The but call that's not Solid State. Of Liberty. Sons of Liberty. The name of their leader is Solid Snake. Ooh. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have really survived? Loud. Not a chance. There's a bit of a chance. <laughs> totally, totally a chance. <clears throat> He's not. It, yeah. Oh, I, I... Colonel. I'm on the roof. There are no sentries. Oh, this is where you can start uh, falling over on seagull poo. Yeah. This is just funny. Stay extra sharp and you never have daylight VR training. Extra sharp until you you daylight VR training. What the fuck? What about the See that's a, that's a bit of a, a mission, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, uh, all this VR training they're talking about is the Shadow B. Moses incident. Strut B? Um, which is all set at night, if you remember. So, mm. is it? When he says he's done 300 missions of VR. They basically had him replaying the Shadow Moses incident in VR. One and two. Each unit yeah. Consists of a central core the very and end of Battle Gear Solid is in the daylight, but that's the cutscene, so you whole don't play thing that section. shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of Strut A, Shell 1 at the moment. Yeah, I remember this very vividly. Mm. Uh, the, the kind of daylight First, and the orange. Get to a node. Log into so, the network. Got it. The, the, I like the ambient sound effects on this, you know, the seagulls and the uh, 
the wind, the wind and stuff. Yeah. It's it's very nice. Yeah. Bandages. Where's my radar gone? You don't have it on this bit. You're not logged in. You're only in that basement bit. So when you go, there's another strut to log into. Fucking party line today, isn't it? Right, and look at that wire fence. You may be able to. Oh, right. Stop know, telling me how to play the fucking game. I think we can skip over those bits. Yeah. Look at the seagull poo. <laughs> Oh. oh my God! I it's right the retard or something, is it? <laughs> right. Seal Team Ten is in. Do we All really have no of... line of communication with the seals? Of course they not. don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. <sighs> this operation is under Pentagon's direct command. And the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. He wouldn't say this Your over the codec, would he? Top secret, but no, it's gone wouldn't. through the usual channels. I appreciate they need to get the information to us somehow. I suppose there's yeah, some... Yeah, in, in a way I would almost rather they have a briefing file that's a text log that you can look at at your own leisure though. You know, like, sort of like Mass Effects. Where you can just look yeah. at the information when you feel like looking at it rather than have it interrupt your gameplay. I mean, I will criticize the game for that, definitely. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Understood. Let's God not speak damn. Russian. Let's just speak with Russian accents. Russian accents. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's implied that Raiden can understand Russian and therefore he's, it's English for us, but they're speaking Russian. Because they do that in Metal Gear Solid 3 as well, where everyone's speaking Russian, but they make a point of saying that Snake Colonel, knows Russian. I've located so it's, the node, it's not a it's thing. Under heavy surveillance. You know what I, mean? I can't get in any closer. I've got to admit, though, them. it feels like there's there's a million more codec away. calls in this game than the other ones. Flatten yourself against like, the it's, it's, I'm walking around button. for a second, get my bearings, and then I've got another fucking codec call to deal with. Yeah, it is annoying. It Piss is off, annoying. I don't want to go there. I want to go over here. Telling me what to do. You twat. Not that I can't can get anything there anyway. I must say the, the musical upgrade in this game is so significant. Like these sneaking sections with the really cool like bass lines and stuff. Oh, what the fuck! You're not hearing it anymore, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not answering the call. Oh, you just knocked someone out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks like you're knocking someone out! <laughs> Would you like help with that? <laughs> Clippy! <laughs> Fucking Clippy. <Yeah. laughs> so, in first person view, have you got inverted or...? I've got the right way, whatever that is. It's not inverted, no. Cool. Do you know what? I'm trying to remember the order in which you need to do stuff in this game. I know you have to go to uh... Where did he say you were going? Strut, strut B? That sound effect creeps me out. It's, it's not a kissing sound, is it? That's not... I'm under attack. Oh shit. Fucking... Yeah. Someone walk so, off. Shit. So yeah, yeah. If, you tr if you tranquilize someone and they wake up, they wake up and just go, Ugh. They don't... They don't Get suspicious, well, whereas if you punch somebody in the face and knock them out, and then they wake up and it goes into caution mode because wake you know, up surrounded by their own teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Something's definitely up here. They just wake up bleeding, and just be like, huh? They just carry on patrolling. Just shot I don't even know right. what I'm worrying about. I can get out of here, can't I? Yeah, I think you just go up the stairs. Can you go up the stairs. I think this is back to the same area. No, you're wasn't back it? to the same area. Yeah. I think you is, need to go. is there not a seek? Yeah, there's a collectible. Oh, hello. Oh, the door's open. Hey, oh, chips. So if you go to the north end of here... Oh, there's a bloke up there as well. I just want to see you fall over his eagle poo. I okay. just want to watch it one time. So it's <laughs> up at the top. Hey! <laughs> That's awesome. Shit, I just got... Somebody there. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Prick. Now then, if this guy goes up to it and you, you like, jump over the fence when he's next to it, you'll hit him. That's quite useful as well. Hmm? Like that jumping over move will hit a guard. Shit! Fuck's sake. You and your seagull poo. I <laughs> know, oh, sorry. Just, we had to do it one time, come on. You and your miserable so attempts at stealth. 
I think you need to go through. Yeah, the... oh, that from miserable attempts at stealth. See that? You hear that little swoosh when I did it as well. Right, where am I going? Um, right, so you go to the right end of this room, but not up the stairs. So to the right, I think it's to the right, mate, not the left. I'm pretty sure. Hawk. Oh. oh dear. Ah, see now, here's a good thing. Now this guy, he won't go into full alert mode if you knock him out before he can radio it in. So, yeah. Like, they'll send guards in, but once you're out of the room, it kind of resets, I think. Once you get used to where the controls are, generally, on the pad, because it does take... because it's quite different from other games, I think. Um, yeah. Once you get used to where punch is, it's a lot easier to get out of stealthy, you know, situations where you fuck the stealth up. Because everyone does it, not just me. That's a good, good thing. Yeah. yeah punch but... is circle in this game, and it's not in a lot of games, is it? Yeah, yeah an, X is, an X is like the action button in most games, but in this, it's... Basically, crouch, crouch or um, roll or cartwheel. Exercise extreme caution, but you can use chaff to it, set up an interference field. These are, are these all Nintendo games, which I'm not fine for a while. Try no. Um, some chaff. Yes and no. They're originally the MSX, but there was the an, a NES the version of it, some which apparently was really bad. So like it wasn't the normal careful. version of the game. A lot of um, continued that. Nintendo franchises do have um, Circle as the main button and X as the cancel button, like Final Fantasy. Yeah. Just because you used to it on the SNES pad. As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence, so we just listen in. I'm is Punch still through. Circle on Ground Zeroes, Chris? This is Alpha Zero. I think so. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs oh. that we've secured the package. Easy is that money. Steve Buscemi? Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. <laughs> Come on home. Roger that. <laughs> what the fuck now do I have to be, Mr. Pink? Report. Damn it, cover the president! Get him beautiful zero. lips. Get him. We're under attack. It's a very generic looking sort of girly man, isn't he? He looks a bit like uh, Sephiroth. Well, there's, is, a, there's um, a reason for that again. Yeah. Well, although that's a bit less... The so many reasons. That's, that's not to do with the game, that's to do with Kojima now. deliberately wanted to make a character like that. <laughs> In every Almost, um, see, he says that he wanted to make it to appeal to girls, but the resounding thing seems to be that he wanted to challenge and annoy... Not annoy, but he wanted to challenge the preconceptions that his own fans had about what the hero is like in this game, because the choice to use Raiden was a deliberate choice. It wasn't just that he did it for a laugh. Mm. Like, Raiden seems like a younger, sort of uh, inexperienced, bit of a wise ass. Yeah, he's quite a bit different from Snake, who's kind of this grizzled, hardened veteran. He is very different, yeah. So, your beloved chaff grenades are back, and you can use them on these things until you get a, a pistol or some sort. Is that thing just flying up and down? No, it's going it's left just, and right just, as well. Are you yeah. playing Technician Ted now or something? Fucking Jet Set Willy. It's just <laughs> monitor in this bridge. Now, I'm not. I think the reason I've sent you here first is because you get the M9 gun in here. That's what you need to get that, like, quickly. Oh, oh you sent me in this room, did you? I didn't go in of my own accord. <laughs> You're in total well, you were, control, you were, you, higher. You were going to go to the left and I sent you to the right. If you oh, okay, well, there. there's two rooms, though, isn't there? There's an up and a down room. Yeah, it's upstairs, I think. Sam's using tele-existence. Tele tele-existence. He's using psych psycho man tits to... <laughs> <laughs> this is true power. Me. Right. I don't know where the node is in this room. I don't know where the dude is in this room. You got to just chance it. Maybe try to use your RP sensor a bit. I oh, literally just selected it just as you said that. You're ahead of me. <laughs> so what does that do again? Does it vibrate when you need it? Yeah. Something? Just yeah. The, the closer I am to some dude, the, the more it vibrates. But it vibrates your controller, doesn't it? I think it's... Something flashing behind there. Yeah. Oh, that's a... Uh... That's one of the bombs that you'll be disposing a bit later on. There's a whole bomb disposal There's also a magazine up there as well. Oh, the magazines are great. I'm going to get shot in a minute if I don't. Can I...? You can slide along that wall past those boxes. Yeah. I've only just now realised that things that you pick up spin in this game. Yeah, they do it in... Uh, well, I don't know if they do it in Ground Zeroes, but they do it in... Well, they go to because they don't do it in Metal Gear Solid 4 either, but they do it... Up until Metal Gear Solid 3, they all do that. Shit. Don't! It's the enemy! And he's down! And he's found it in as well. I think I might have got away with that. There we go. Just about. They will come and investigate, though. Carry out an investigation immediately. 
I believe it's in the bottom right room. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> There's another room as well. There might be a guard round here, though. No sign oh, nope. of the missing man. Nothing else to report. That fucking last. There you go. Now you can start taking guards out of it. Enemy in the area. Increase security level. Uh oh. Understood. Reinforcements are on the way to Strut F. Intensify the level of security. You can leave this room if you want now anyway. Yeah, so that's what you needed. This actually reminds me a lot of um, the first Metal Gears Solid as well. Yeah, it's supposed to. Oh, it's like... There's a reason for that. Ah, yeah, we'll stop saying it. We'll have to stop saying that shit. But there is yeah, a reason for everything that you say, basically. It's very clever. That's why we. That's why us fanboys are fanboys of a game. It's like being a fan of Arrested Development. If you like uh, the, like, the, the first couple of seasons of Arrested Development, it's generally because they all reference back to each other and there's lots of geeky, yeah. like, in-jokes. And that's what makes it interesting. That's what makes... People like me and Sam, anyway, at least, and you, Lou, definitely get into something and, and invest mm. your time in it. Right, Sam, where are we going? Uh, so I think you need to head back across this bridge and back to that first strut that we were in. Um, so obviously, just yeah, get get past this uh, little thingy. I've got a feeling it's going to pop back up in a second. Shit, though. there's also another dude there. There is. As well, oh fuck! <laughs> Camera angles. Bastard. Ooh, ooh. <coughs> oh, Chris. Shut up. You try playing a game. <laughs> I am, bro. I seem to remember being better at them than this. Oh, he's going to look at the locker. I'm not sure. I think I might have got away with this one. I think he's it's just staring noise. at it. That was Lou. Sorry, that was Sam, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was me. It's like a Wookiee. <laughs> oh, I'm vibrating like mad. He's shit in his pants. <laughs> What's this guy looking for? Oh. He's looking for you just to see if you're in that corner, but he's really looking in that corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> right, now where are we going? <clears throat> um, You're going to this, the left room that you originally were gonna, the left door that you originally gonna leave this room by. So, I think there's still just one guard in this room doing his little patrol. So I think you should just, yeah. <laughs> it's a guard with no teeth left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's fine so many times. <laughs> Toothless Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Or Toothless Ivan, if he's Russian, I guess. <laughs> Racist. I love that when, it, when he gets down Actually, on his belly, he... this guy, he kind of flops around a little bit. I was going to say, he could be called Joe, because <laughs> Joseph Stalin knew he was Russian. Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old Joe Stalin, eh? <laughs> oh, there's two dudes. Use your leap. M9 skills. I will do. To take them down. Fuck it. You can, uh... Oh, I think you can <laughs> that one. Music just went... Da, 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 da. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, they used... Oh man, every time with this guy. Alright. Can't do out there. Oh, I remember. Oh, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Can you do pull ups in this cool. to make yourself better and not make you good? Yeah. Them? You get there's a grip level in the top left whenever I'm gripping. You never really need them, do you? You only need them if there's a couple of secret things you can get and you have to Ooh. have good grip to get them. It's not really necessary. More uh, yeah, again, more Metal Gear Solid yeah. similarities with a corridor full of blood. Oh, this is where we get to see Vamp, isn't it? Yeah, fucking hate this character. Yeah, I mean, do you I hate really... him? As in, no, I really dislike him. In, you, you wish he wasn't in the game at all, or do you hate him because he's a dickhead? Like, as in, he's you're supposed to hate him. Both, and I, I don't like the fight. I think the fight's pretty boring, and yeah, 
It I is like this one, isn't it? He's in four. He's in three. He's in four. I like what happens to him in four because it's it's not it's satisfying to see him get fucking like whooped in four. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> There's that many bosses, it doesn't matter when they die, does it? Because they'll come back even if they do die, if they need to <laughs> come much. back. That thing that Lou said about all the bosses coming back, I was like, no, they don't. And then I thought about it and I was like, <laughs> yeah, they all they all do. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> the only exception of Metal Gear, Rex. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, he does Rex come back. Comes back. Yeah. This is a cool, this is a pretty cool cutscene. This is one of the things when you see how the action in this game. Uh, it's a lot more slick than it was in the last one. <laughs> He's got way more than thirty bullets in that in that gun, hasn't he? Yeah, I was thinking that. That was a bit <laughs> of Hollywood machine gun there, wasn't it? Right. Is he touting himself as a member of Foxhound at the moment? No, no. Vamp. Um I can't remember or not. And they're not no, because Raiden's in Foxhound. I don't think these yeah, guys are called. Yeah, right. I knew Fox I knew Foxhound was involved again. I just couldn't remember. Exactly what are they how. called these guys? They've got a, this guy. This group has got a name, but I can't. Remember it's it not is. the Beauty and the Beast unit. That's no, <laughs> the no, only thing I could say. It's something else. Probably get explained in a cut, cut scene or two. Time. Could it, he's just a total douche, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, oh, he liked that, didn't he? He's so overly dramatic and theatrical, fam. What a pillock. The dead mate. It's quite tense. I think it might even be this level that is annoying. Is the two two levels to this? Uh, what do you mean? As in, is the two level like? Is there a top and a bottom bit? Is this the boss battle? No, no, this isn't the boss battle. You okay. don't fight it until way later in the game. Which one is the one where, where there's there's two levels and you have to jump down between them and? Uh, is that in boss four? Fight. Is that in four? No, it's a vamp fight. Yeah, you, you're going round this area. There's like in a the vamp, in the vamp fight. It's just on one level. You can you can hang off the sides of things. Like you can hang off the, <coughs> um, like the railings like you were doing before when he attacks you. You can avoid his attacks by hanging off the railings and then jump back over. But it's, it's on one level. He's jumping around different levels, but you don't. Right. Okay. He, he jumps on like the ceiling and stuff. Five today. You nicked that idea Four from Zaz from Batman, six. mate. Uh, this was. Oh, um, actually, yeah, maybe from the comics. Zaz was definitely possibly. before. Zaz is from like the nineteen eighties or something. But every idea has been done already, though. Come on. I suppose. You can't happens. really say that about anybody these days. There he is. Recognise that voice straight away. Or I do anyway. Come on, Snake, you know better than that. Actually... I also think this is ridiculous. Well, it's dancing around the bullets. Yeah, Queen. Yeah, it is a bit. No, it's very ridiculous. Wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting. I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. 
be right there. You got the sound gun in this one. Sound gun. The directional mic. No. Uh, no, yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah, you have to use it uh, to find the president later by the listening for his pacemaker. Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Now I recognize his voice. Yeah. I also think that this name bit is, is a little bit like... My name is Pliskin. What? Hmm. A little bit what? Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Um... It's a little bit like what? Why? Yeah, that's the name of that's the name of Snake <laughs> in uh, Escape from New York. Yes. Yeah. Are you a Navy SEAL? It looks really nice, bandana on. How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. See, there's one of the little Have bug things from before? where we came in. Hmm. He's lying. That's Why is he lying? How do you know that he's lying from that? Because he's gone, gone through the same area That's where right. the bugs were. Yeah. Oh. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? He looks oh, a bit mincy, doesn't he? Force 21 <laughs> trials. I think he's got Force a bit of eye shadow on him. That's about technical yeah. IT. The guy liner. Right? Guy liner here. Yeah. Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive Seriously, if you are a, if the, if you're a guy watching us right now like and you what? wear eyeliner, fuck off. <laughs> Fucking sort your life I've out. Been, I've been sort told your. Really good in I don't give a fuck how good you'd look. You're a man. You're a man. In fact, I even have a problem with women wearing eyeliner and makeup and. Really? I I, it, I think it's horrific. Yeah, you, you, you just said I'm a man, and then in the same sentence that you don't like women looking looking good in makeup. No, I didn't say that. I said I don't like women wearing makeup. Right? Women look good, per perfectly good and fine without makeup, and it's just the stigma of society that's made them think that they have to wear makeup in order to leave the house. Okay, it does so are you, you uh, opposed to them shaving the legs and? Yeah, pretty much. I, I'm, that? I'm happy. I'm happy with that. But that, again, that's a, all of it's a choice. It's up to them if they really want to do it. But you, you've also got so to think about the fact that most women also go out, also think that they have to wear makeup in order to look right. pretty and what do themselves up and go to an event or something. The yeah, vast majority give, of women. No, if yeah. you give, them, give them the due. Keep they also do that machines. not for men. They do that for their own. Yes, but that's what I'm LZ. saying. It's still a societal problem because they're still uh, women have still got this. Idea that they won't be accepted unless they've unless they wear makeup. Whether or not it's it's whether or not they think about that consciously or not, that is why makeup exists. Yeah. Because the man or men originally said that you have to paint your face in order to look pretty. It's horrific. It's a horrible, horrible thing. And I think men coming into that is even it's it not not even worse. In fact, I think it's really sad that men are starting to do that. What's up? Take a look. Anyway. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very slippery slope that you're on, Chris, because then you start to say, you know, you, you grow your beard because your wife likes your beard. You, oh, I haven't done my hair before the show. Everyone cares about their appearance. The to an, to an extent, yes. There has to be a line. Captain. There, there has to be, but generally, society looks at makeup as a way to make women look prettier. Or, or, yeah, or, it, or a way for them to be accepted well, right. in a social situation, which is what I have a problem with. The fact women that. Women want to do that. We're, uh, all they, they want to do that because they've been indoctrinated to do that no, by society. They want to do that because, they want to do that because that there is, there is always now. sexual selection going on that in any, any, any species. And we all want to make ourselves that's look bad. the best we possibly can so that we can be sexually attractive. Okay. I, I I agree to an extent, but I also ha I still have a problem with that whole thing. Me, me and Sal weren't attracted to each other because we weren't attracted to each other because of the way we looked necessarily. We were, we were attracted because we spent time together and we enjoyed each other's conversations and company and personalities. I I've never went for someone. Well, actually, no, I take it back. I have went for someone a girl that's looked pretty in a pub or something, but it's never went anywhere because I've, it's it's been superficial. You know, there's been nothing underneath. That. Around the time their original leader died in prison, yeah, but that doesn't stop people wanting to make an effort to make themselves look. Uh, look, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm, I'm ha I have a problem specifically with the fact that society thinks that it's the it's what you have to do in order to be in order to be accepted. I don't think it is society. I think I think it's it's, it's personal preference. I think there's societal pressure 
the unit was devastated. In part because of the people are doing it, but people are doing it because other people are doing it, and people are doing it because they want to do it because other people are doing it. It's hard to separate society from that, but that's because that's a choice. I do also have problems with that and peer pressure, and but that's it's a separate issue in my eyes, personally. Anyway, we're kind of sidetracking off the. But we have the actual gonna, game. You, you've gone from people <coughs> guy line to everyone shouldn't wear makeup or look good. I, I, I'm going to stick by that. I, I really think <laughs> makeup is a, a horrific invention. No, he's not involved enough. in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. What have we missed, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was just, I was too engrossed in listening to your conversation. Yeah. What about the Some stuff about Vamp. And, they talk about Vamp being a Romanian too. guy. Um, Former Soviet. I don't remember if they've explained what Amy's backstory. If it's relevant, we'll come back to it later. Is he called Vlad by any chance? No, to just fortunately not. To hold down. Just, just vamp, I think. Vamp. The point is, is that in this game, Snake this? is not the one you came repeating things and saying what's going on. Why? He's the one telling you what's going on. So the perspective, because we all know this is Snake, it's blatantly Snake, there's only one guy has got that voice, he's, he's undercover, he's pretending to be somebody else for his own reasons. I was really confused though when I first saw this, I was like, right, Pliskin, it's the same, it's, it's everything Snake about him, but his name isn't? What? Yeah, Hang on. I just, I just knew that he was just pretending to be somebody else, I just got it straight away. Um, anyway, where was I? I have to apologise briefly for the fact that I look like I'm an, in, an Instagram picture here. But <laughs> you, you look like you're in the window. <laughs> you look like you're in a window in Amsterdam. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Snake, the, the perspective change on Snake goes from him being the guy who's always asking the questions to him being the the, the guy who knows what's going on and he, he's more clued in than you are. And he's more in control of what he's doing. He's operating on his own. Like in this game, whereas you're still following orders and connecting bridge. all that kind of stuff. So that gives it Snake a more to get there. independent perspective on. A few more minutes. As a hero, like he gets to be more heroic in this game Remember than he was in the last one, because you get to watch him doing that sort of stuff as opposed to being the guy taking the orders. You yeah, know what I mean, I've been briefed on this plant's layout. And that was a deliberate move because you was part as well to change cell how you view solid Snake. communication, right? Yeah, dead cell. That's what they're called. Dead Cell, there you go. I was, I was sort of come out and said that Dead Cell, as the group of bosses, are easily the weakest in the What's series for me. Like, Vamps are knobhead, Fortunes are knobhead, Fat Man's are knobhead. They're not, they're none not, of, engage, right. they're not engaging. Like, none of right the, the enemies in this game, apart from Makes up for the, the last Ocelot. battle. Gave me. Oh, Ocelot and Olga. And Solidus. <coughs> Maybe I'll find out something. Yeah, Solidus. Okay, I'll yeah, take Olga's that back. Quite a lot of the enemies in this game, I don't care about. Just have no interest in them, and I can't yeah. remember much about them, or I hate them yeah. for one reason or another. Um, the Foxhound guys from the last game, say what you like about it, but they were all memorable in their own way. They were all a bit daft and mad a lot of the time, but they were more memorable and a bit more charming than the guys in this game as well. The, the Cobra unit from Metal Gear Solid 3, again, I really like them as well. They've all got distinct personalities, even though you don't see a lot of them. You get who they are like really quickly with each of them. That's a, I mean, it's a very Japanese thing, that isn't it? The, the idea that you go on an adventure and you meet loads of people who are all kind of very distinctive personalities to the point where yeah. it's almost Shit. silly how, how distinctive they are. <laughs> Just shot Snake by accident. <laughs> That's awesome. Moron. Mate, he's gonna shoot you. Oh no, is he? He oh, did. Moron, he did just shoot me, but. I'm not getting the, the, the footage isn't always 100% smooth, so sometimes I'm missing little bits. Yeah, same here. <laughs> what the hell are we supposed to be doing now? I totally well, is this, is this a good point to break it because it's like, been playing for quite a while now. Uh, yeah, how long have we been playing for? Um, well, it's, it's past 12 o'clock now. We start at half 10. Jack, it's me. Everything All right, let's, let's just do a little Don't bit more and then. Save the mission data? Oh. oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Alright, we're doing a save anyway. It's forcing me to do one. So we might as well stop there? Yep. Yeah, I guess so. And then we'll figure out where we're up to next time. Yeah, so uh, thanks everyone for watching. We'll be back with our next one next Monday. Jack, yep. These are all now um, going out on YouTube as well. We're not doing them live anymore. We're not streaming them pre-recorded. Uh, we're just putting them on YouTube. So yeah, uh, yeah, more sense.
We'll be advertising them on Twitter and Facebook still, but you know, we are where we are. Right, I've had enough of a shut up. Probably, oh probably should have listened to all that. Oh, big shell map. Fancy, yeah. very fancy. Um, I like the hexagons, don't they? Yep. Yeah, well, he explained the structure of it earlier on. There's two yeah. main, there's two main struts. I believe. Oh no, there's two main areas, and then there's struts around each one yeah, of them. Everything is hexagonal, there, uh, apart from the the, the main. The, the, yeah, the two, the two square bits are the cores of each mm. one. So there's a, hang on, is it a? No, it's one and two, and then each one of them is lettered. I think A, B, or is it? Is so it A and B, and then they're numbered? It's got shell the one corn, shell two corn, then these are all A, B. That's it, yeah. CD. Presumably the whole game takes place yeah. on this, this this area then. Um or most of it. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. I don't think yeah. there's anything outside of the shell, is there? Uh, there's there's one, the very the very end of the game bit is, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, pretty much all the games on I'll, this. I'll be honest, I have no idea how they end up in that situation though at the very end. I I've, I will get to it when we get to it. Yeah. Maybe. It's it's very confusing. Anyway, right, so yes, we'll be back next Monday. Yep. See yeah. you later everyone. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye -bye. See you later.